focus on the whole patient and really take the time to understand what's going on and listen to what they're saying and then go back through any of the the information that's available, whether it's an x-ray or MRI or CT, and put all the pieces of the puzzle together. And then, you know, going forward, what I try to do is treat most of the problems conservatively. And if there's a conservative thing that helps that patient, so much the better. I know that patient will be functioning and happy, and that's their goal, one way or the other. There are a lot of patients I have that I've seen grandmothers and the next generation or two, or someone comes in and said, oh, you took care of someone, you know, a family member or, or a relative or even a friend, someone that lives down the street. And I've been in the community long enough since 1991 that I see that all the time, which is actually kind of fun because you get a better connection and you understand who that person is. And to me in medicine, that's really a very important part of it because they have to work in the community there, they have to work in their job, they have to work at school, and, and you have to make it workable for them. And that's what our goal is, is try and find what we need to get to, to that point. Well, one of my primary areas of focus over the last five or six years has been uh, directing my total knee and total hip patients into more minimally invasive approaches. And with my knees in particular, it's an area that I've feel like I've specialized in. Um, the, the huge advantage is the patient has much less cutting, so less scarring, less bleeding. With less cutting comes less pain. Um, and by preserving muscles when you're approaching hips or knees, that patient recovers much quicker.